Oh! <laughs> what is this? The Fireflies get a rap video? Why do other characters not get rap video introductions? That doesn't seem fair. Damn, they have Keyblades and music videos. Yeah, those politicians. Tell me about the politicians. Awesome. I'm on their side now. I've been converted. All I needed was the rap video. Just as soon as you came clean about what the hell you're really doing down here. I told you the truth. Bullshit. What was that glowing stone? There's a lot we could clear the air about, but we're on the same team. Let's keep sight of that. We both got bags over our heads. Fuck. No, I feel like these people are friends. The implication seems to be that they know Vi. My guess was I see everything kid, because I don't think we've seen him at all yet. That's sort of a loose thread. That's not the face I was expecting. And here it comes. We know each other. We're old friends. I like his jacket. Yeah. For a dead girl. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. He's been busy. I like that. What do you know about this? He's got a cool container for it. That was a long time ago. People He's seen some stuff that yeah, Bai hasn't I'm seen. A lot has changed. You're working for Silco. Fuck you. <laughs> now you show up with a pilty and give Everyone just assumed she was dead. You should have learned more. You still punch like a little boy. I thought she was gonna say another B word. I missed you, little man. There we go. It's more like it. This guy must have must have had the journey. Just a little kid, his whole life gets ripped out from under him. Doesn't seem like he has anywhere to go. Builds a whole crew and makes an awesome rap video and fights back. This is Shimmer. A variant. It should provide everything. Victor's on the verge of making a deal with the devil, in a sense. If you take this path, they will despise you. But that's not why you don't take it. That's not the risk. It's not about people not understanding you. You become like this weird undercity junkie. Look at look at Jace getting ripped. <laughs> I tried taking it apart and it nearly killed me. Whoever built it knows exactly what they're doing. Yeah, she's this extremely is skilled. It's hard to believe what they're capable of. Yeah, it's time to pay attention to Undercity in more ways than one. He was my mentor, Mel. And I betrayed him. I'm glad. I'm so glad to see this. It's not too late, though. Yes. You may have done Heimerdinger a great service, because you just woke him up from his hundreds of years of complacency, perhaps, but you did him dirty. All our business is down. Enforcers are searching anyone who crosses the bridge. Ah, oh, Savika. We hate Savika. Where are you going? I need to find Jinx. Sir. I love his physicality too. It, it matches so well with his personality. She'll come to you when she's ready. Very interested interested to see the aftermath for Powder from that meeting. You can't ignore that. That's gotta be unbelievably destabilizing. Yeah. Caitlin. Does Caitlin become a target? Seems like she's reasoning through, through things well. <laughs> her descent is really easy to believe and I sympathize with her immensely because what I feel she needs is not solitude, which is largely the state she seems to exist in. And if she doesn't want to be in solitude, she can turn to either the people around her who are all terrified of her and will never treat her as someone lovable, and Silco who will give her the love that she wants but not the love that she needs if that makes sense and those are sort of her options and she's not going to be able to dig herself out of this just alone there's nothing internally it feels for her to stand on that would allow her to like you know grab onto something a little better to kind of get out of this cycle but it's clearly there like all it would take is just someone to actually really love her and care about her for not even that long and i feel like she would gravitate towards it but i'm sort of terrified for her character because i feel like she may not get that opportunity or if she does get that opportunity it'll be too late carved out a nice space for themselves Is that a real truth? it's the lost boys cool, huh? you built all this not alone this is one of the most impressive character arcs in the show so far, and it happened off screen. If I just went with you that day, maybe none of this would have happened. It's probably good or he didn't. Maybe you'd be dead. Yeah. Or changed. Powder's gone by. All that's left is Jinx, and she belongs to You're Silco. wrong. I understand why he feels that way, but Vi's gotta do it, and you're not gonna stop her from trying, and she's probably the only one who can do anything about it. And it's crucial to her story and her redemption. Not even because she did something so horrible. I mean, 
Her greatest crime was being young and naive and being forced into a difficult world and trying to grow into that world a little bit faster than she was ready for. And then when in a state of mourning, lashing out at her sister in a moment of intense emotion. So it's all understandable. But from Vi's perspective, it's a horrible thing to carry on your conscience. When someone was in their lowest state and needed you the most, you punched them and turned your back on them, even if it was only meant to be for a moment. She's got to bring that to conclusion. Your sister works for him not because she has to, but because she wants to. I'm sorry, but that's who she is now. He's not wrong. I and mean, she's not a captive, but that doesn't mean that's, that's all there is to it. Yeah, the show really articulating there that Silco is not a savior, right? She's just as ready to oppress as the worst people he accuses of being oppressors. They're dangerous. I'm from the Undercity. Whoops. I'm sorry. I've had a lot on my plate. You've become pilt over. He's losing control. If we stand together, we aren't due for an assembly. Ugh, busted. Ever since your stun, topside, profits have been plummeting. Oh, at least he'll say it to his face. They got a council too. Better to have some trade than none at all. The border issue is temporary. Jinx will deal with it. That is a issue with Jace's plan, right? He's so worried about a strike against Piltover that he will close down trade. And the worst effects of that aren't this council losing money. It's the fact that you block off trade and you potentially leave people without food. Right? I mean, I don't know the specifics of the economy of this world, but you imagine you probably just hurt a lot of innocent people's lives and maybe even created a lot more enemies than you had before. Rumor is, you dogs are for leash. How are you meant to bring Piltover to heal if you can't handle your own people? Huh? I feel like Silco's about to handle a lot of things. If only that covered more than just your nose. Oh, you don't recognize it. Is he immune because of his time in the waters of Lake Sinatanka? I pulled you all up from the depths. Offered you a taste of top. This guy's trying to tough it out. Good it's one way to inspire loyalty. He's great at ruling with fear. This threat from the Undercity is drawing attention. Piltover looks vulnerable. And that's rattling our investors. I'm still curious to see where her character goes. Not sure what her end goal is. Let her go. I brought her here. It's me you want. <laughs> that's a perfect thing she could have said. No one's around to inject me with my eye juice. Hey! Here, there, chasing down. It's a little, dead little dangerous. Getting a little dangerous vibe from Jinx for some reason. Marcus never told me she was in Stillwater. I'm like half expecting her to call him Mr. J. Have you forgotten how she left you? Who found you? Who cared for you? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Silco just has greater access and more time. I need you. Now more than ever. It's only us. And he can make her feel important and feel valued. There's a lot of different inputs going into Powder's mind. We could beat Silco with this. Yeah, he'd be a, a powerful tool in anyone's hands. Your people aren't dying all around you. Right. This is sort of the thing for me about this gemstone and all the, the conflict the magic is causing. There's this battle between Jace and Heimerdinger, right? There's part of it that's thematic, you know, the sort of dark magic thing that represents something that should not be touched. Maybe it's a temptation or a shortcut. A lot of the time, that's what these things represent narratively. And so in that sense, it's an evil thing. But that aside, there's the logistic nature of it, which is that it's a new technology that threatens to enhance people's lives, but also carries a danger. And to that, for me, it seems like neither Jace nor Heimdinger is right. And it's it's not that the thing in itself is either good or evil, but that it all comes down to the application. And narrative dark magic element of it aside, it seems like one possible solution is for Jace and Victor and Heimerdinger to utilize it together, balancing each other out, grabbing the potential of the technology for innovation, and then sharing that with not only Piltover, but Undercity. That seems to be optimal. Because for me, it's sort of like, yeah, why? Why are the people of Undercity so ignored? Piltover has the technology. And it's sort of easy and convenient to be against technological innovation because of the, the risks it brings when you are okay and your needs are taken care of. For me, I feel like the priority should be people first. You know, get people to a place where they're not in dire straits and aren't dying and have clean water, for example. And then after that, sort of ease back. But of course, there is a point with technology. There is a risk where you go too far and it creates catastrophe and undoes all the help you're trying to do. So to that extent, Heimdinger is right. I think the question is not one or the other, but doing it in a way that is conscientious, even though it's really easy to say and hard to do. You'd be well within your rights to keep it. I couldn't blame you. Yeah, this is but a great tact. If you do, 
This cycle of violence will never stop. Hey, she said it out loud. Cycle of violence. There it is. I have a friend on the council. Let me take the gemstone to him. Echo sees everything. You'll listen to me. Including Caitlin's heart. People wouldn't have to hide anymore. One condition. I'm the one who gives it to them. Love it. Love Echo. We can't afford to wait to find out. Wait, what are you suggesting? Oh, oh. We prepare our own countermeasures. Oh. We would shatter any attempt at peace. Heimerding there you go. Never go Heimerding as an action is what brought us here. You said so yourself. Is this what she wants? Ridiculous. Uh-oh. You cannot be considering this. Uh-oh. What if she's right? Ah! Uh, Are we just gonna stand no. and attack us? Oh, oh, oh! You get, yeah, get that out of there. Throw it, throw it somewhere. Red wire, blue wire, black wire. That is always a choice. Hey, there you go. Victor's speaking my language. Sorry I called you Ivan for five episodes. What's Uncle Heimerdinger up to? Oh no. He just fused with the Rubik's Cube? I can't leave her again. You can't change her. I was just thinking. I was just thinking it would be way more satisfying for her to go after Powder. This is important, but this is more important to Vi and Powder. Yes, that is so satisfying. Oh, don't misunderstand. It's just a goodbye, Holly. Yes. She wouldn't do that. Watch her now turn around and go back in your direction. The battle for Powder's soul continues. What the hell is this? Oh no. no. Speaking of opportunity for characters, there's a lot of opportunity for him. Depending on what he does from here on out. He threatened your daughter. No! Ugh. Liar. So on edge. Did she weaponize the fire lights? She did, didn't she? It's pretty brilliant tech. Is he alright? Oh no! Oh, he's still breathing. He's breathing. Okay, Caitlin's alright. For now, where is Vi? Okay, there's Vi. Where are they in relation to each other? Yes, talk, speak quickly and honestly and concisely. <laughs> ah, there he is. About to show you that Kingdom Hearts is friendship. <laughs> he ended up being one of the coolest characters. Speak. <laughs> and it ends with a another music video. I want to enjoy it, but I can't. Okay, nice dodge. This is a really no. Oh no. Oh, he's still in there. Please let him be all right. He, he hesitated. He was merciful. I mean, Powder took herself out too. Uh, that was definitely one of my favorite episodes so far. What an unexpected but awesome surprise in Echo. His character <laughs> comes out of nowhere just being awesome for having developed this whole world seemingly by himself or at least from, you know, from the ground up. Being a Keyblade wielder with an awesome skateboard, a badass den, and a music video. <laughs> Speaking of which, I really like some of the artistic direction. Opening with that was interesting, but more so the childhood montage of them right before their fight came to an end. That was unique and a really interesting way of depicting that, when it could have just been a flashback, right? The episode all around is exciting because you can feel things really starting to come to a head. People are kind of choosing their sides. Victor undergoing some sort of transformation. Jace struggling under the weight of his decisions. Uncle Heimdinger on a stealth mission. <laughs> and then one thing I sort of don't like is Vi again leaving Powder. It really hurts because I, I was already worried that there just aren't going to be enough chances. Like Powder is so on the edge in this battle for her soul, which is part of what makes it so thrilling. There really aren't going to be that many opportunities and she could be saved. And 
Yeah, that was a misunderstanding, but Vi could have set that straight. It feels like another of a similar mistake, and it just hurts me on her on her behalf because I feel like that might have been the last chance. She might have just sealed the door on her own redemption. <laughs> <laughs>